Welcome back to Dirty Garage Mods. Uh, I'm Daniel. Uh, this is going to be your part one of the mud mower build. You're going to hear, to me, hear me referring to certain things in here from previous video. Um, something ha happened with my memory and uh, some of my videos got corrupted. So it'll be kind of choppy at first, but it'll adjust accordingly. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy what you're about to see. The original plan for the engine was to put this uh, 12 and a half horse Kohler command engine on it, um, which I'm a big fan of. I, I love Kohlers for some reason. I, I prefer them over Briggs uh, for the old school mowers, mode, for the old school engines that is. Um, but however, I ran into a situation to where the wiring on this does not match up with the uh, mud mower that I'm building. So uh, I'm going to be reverting back to, and I'll show you, I'm actually going to be going to this 12 and a half horse IC Quiet, which is the same horse as a Kohler of course, but it's a Briggs uh, because the wiring does match up on it and this will keep me from having to change the wiring on the Kohler engine. I'll just save that for another build. So anyhow, this particular tractor, this is actually a Craftsman tractor. Um, this particular tractor though, it did have a Kohler engine on it and it's quite strange how Kohler started using the same wiring as what Briggs is. Uh, convenient for me though, so I, I do appreciate that. Um, make it easier on wiring up. The real question is, will that Briggs and Stratton start up because I have never started it. I bought it for 20 bucks and it's just been sitting here in the garage. So that's what I'm going to start working on next. I am going to be getting that engine ready to drop down onto this body. So hang tight and we'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, so here, here's the 12 and a half horse. This cover that's on it is a pull start cover. It came off of a snapper. Briggs and Stratton engine now. Um, I plan to use this. I kind of got this idea from uh, Fearless Front. Um, he, he did his a little bit different. I'm not going to go that crazy on trying to get making a special pulley or anything, but let's see if this works. If this will fit over this cover. You'd think it would because it is the same design. There we go. There's that. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Of course I gotta work with it a little bit, but other than that, it isn't too bad. Yeah, I get the bolts all lined up, that's why that's why the string got stuck, so but yeah. I think that'll work nicely. It'll fool people too. Put a 10 horse thing on there is kind of different, you know. But it's only two and a half horses more, so it ain't no big deal. So uh, I'm going to locate my bolts for this part here, get this bolted up, and then I'll cut right back in. So this is what I'm thinking. What I'm going to have to do, because this cover does not fit it quite right, um, the holes don't line up where they're supposed to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cover off. Just take this off completely, and bolt this, and uh, try to bolt it to the red one. And I don't care if it's black; not a big deal. It's just a mud tractor, so. And it'd be nice to have matching everything on the engine. So, anyways, uh, I'll cut back in here in just a few minutes and show you guys a little bit more. Yeah, do a little bit of modification here to make this work. So, I'll drill it out.
Need to buy a new cordless drill. That's what I need to do. Snares seen better days. So there we go. There is that. Let's hope it still fits right. And I'm going to put it on like so, so it kicks out the side of the motor instead of where I had it earlier. So sweet. Just about. Let's see here. Nah. I got that hole a little off, but other than that, it ain't too bad. So let's see if these bolts will thread in there. If not, I'm going to have to find some other bolts. Need some self tappers, what I need. Make this a lot easier. Grab a correct size socket. Yeah, I think it'll work. These holes are a little bit off, but I believe I can still get them in there, so. Maybe. Maybe I might have to resize them just a little bit. Go crazy big on them because they're too big and I can't get the bolts uh, bolt in there. And although two bolts would probably hold this down just fine. Oh yeah, here we go. almost too small. All right, so there's a engine. Um, we can go ahead and test this pull start. I'm gonna move you guys out of the way so I can get in. All right, so there's no spark plug or gas or anything in it, so. Oh yeah. She got good, good compression. It's blowing all that dirt out of the carburetor, which is great because there's a lot of it in there. I got a different carb anyhow, but that is awesome. Uh, this particular tractor will be, uh, it will be uh, 
it'll have a starter and all electrical on it, but just in case something happens, you know, this here's a precaution for, you know, a battery goes dead or a starter's not working or, you know, you sink it down some water or something like that and you need to get it cleaned out or whatever. Whatever, whatever, you know, so. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this right, this video right here for now. Um, it's getting a little bit long for what I need it for. So, uh, this is going to be part one. Um, so, like I was saying before, this here is part one of the mud mower build. Uh, some of the footage that you see earlier in this video is... Uh, me explaining the different things that I'm going to do to this. Some of that is still true. Some of it, however, is changing due to the fact that I did change the engine. Uh, if you guys like this type of stuff, uh, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, smash that like button. That's a big one for me. Uh, your comments are appreciated on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, you can follow me. Um, at Instagram, it's uh, all our case. Damn underscore Hoosier. Uh, link will be in the description below. Um, you can also go and join my Facebook group called Garage Kept. Um, that link will be in the description below as well. And if you want to support my channel, there is a Patreon link down below that you can use to go and support my channel. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Um, most of that money, however, that does go to Patreon, does go to help uh, Riley Children's Hospital. Um, so far, no donations for that, but maybe doing this video will encourage people to do that. Um, so, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.